Welcome back to another show and tell video. Today we're looking at two inert examples of 20 millimeter rounds. So these have no powder, no incendiary materials, or basically inert paperweights at this point, dummy rounds. So these would be categorized as 20 by 102 millimeter. And typically, this style of projectile are used in um, auto cannons, anti aircraft uh, platforms, anti materiel platforms as well. So they can be man portable, um, uh, vehicle based, whether it be a wheeled vehicle, a tracked vehicle, or a towed. Uh, carriage as well as uh, mounted on aircraft or mounted on ships so has a variety of uh, applications uh, the 102 refers I believe to the dimension of the casing and not the overall length of cartridge because the projectiles do vary in um, mass composition and dimensions depending on application these are blue training rounds and have gone through a variety of uh, series numbers you can see here these are currently marked as PBM 88B 555's and then we got a number of 016 and these are also classified as M55A3 type of training rounds with the blue inert uh, projectiles themselves. Brass casing you can see what is also uh, I believe called the driving band which helps in uh, properly seating the round as well as for visual inspection you can determine whether or not this round is properly seated as well as this provides uh, proper um, assisting I believe in possible head spacing as well but don't quote me on that uh, looking at the base of these you can see these have struck primers and primers themselves are a different composition than the casings since they are separate units driven into the cartridges themselves. You can see the large uh, casing capacity as well as its almost uh, rifle cartridge shape so it is based on a typical bottlenose uh, rifle cartridge but is uh, just uh, expanded up to a larger dimension. Now one of these I noticed uh, is actually loose so I can actually pull this out and give you an idea of what actually flies through the air once uh, the uh, projectile is ignited in the item. And this would fly through the air for uh, whatever range uh, this might have. I believe possibly uh, less than three miles. So around, I believe... Oh, don't hold me to it then how many meters that would be but convert to but uh, it does have quite the range so about 5,000 meters possibly so you can see this as being a, basically it's just a solid projectile that has been painted accordingly although there might be something uh, for more mass on the as a internal uh, component so other cartridges may have a hardened projectile core, um, center material, tracer material, etc. And some get pretty complex as well as uh, sabotage rounds with uh, different uh, components that separate uh, either through travel or upon impact. So uh, just as a little bit of a... Uh, uh, humor here. Let's take a look at some other rounds for, for comparison. So let's start off with the smallest I could find handily. This is a 22 long rifle round. Uh, this one just happens to be a Remington. So you can see the size of that in comparison to uh, a 20 millimeter typical type. Uh, also there are a variety of 20 millimeter rounds in different casing sizes as well depending on 
country of origin and application but you can see for a 22 long rifle this is basically the amount of projectile a little bit seated under the uh, top uh, neck of the cartridge itself but compared to just the size of the projectile of the 20 millimeter you know quite a few of uh, volume displacement of a 22 long rifle could fit just within the 20 millimeter itself. Moving up in size amongst common rounds, here we have a 5.56 round. See this also is very small in comparison overall. Even the entire cartridge is much smaller than say a 20 millimeter round itself. Continuing up, here we have a 762 by 39 you know, typical AK round, also much smaller than a 20 millimeter projectile itself. Here we also have a 762 by 51 uh, NATO round, again, smaller than projectile. Now getting up a little bit larger of the rifle calibers, here we have a 30 odd 6. So you can see it's much uh, larger uh, volume casing than the 762 NATO, even though it is virtually the same projectile. But you can see now we're starting to get a little bit bigger, and uh, but nowhere near the volume still of the 20 millimeter. And uh, just uh, to round out handily, I could have grabbed a few more, but uh, I kind of like rushed to it. Here we just have a 50 caliber round, you know, much bigger than say a 22 or the 556 or even the uh, 762 NATO round, but still dwarfed in comparison to a 20 millimeter round. You see a size for a 50 cal projectile compared to a 20 millimeter several of these could fit within the mat volume displaced by a 20 millimeter so just to give you an idea of the size range comparison of different rounds against a 20 millimeter by 102 millimeter round this has been another show and tell video. Feel free to check out other show and tell videos on the channel. We also do unboxing videos as well as a series of book review media reviews as well as a series called Curious or the Curious videos on more artsy type objects. Feel free to check all those out. Feel free to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you next time.